Hey, YouTube, what's up with y'all boys, man? So look, if your girl works out, bro, you don't, she cheating on you. I'm sorry to tell y'all niggas that, bro, but if your girl is working out and you not working out, bro, she cheating on you. Facts. I do. how you know this shit? Y'all boys know I work in the gym for a living, right? Like, I, I, I work in the gym, so I see it every day. You understand? Y'all boys can watch my videos all you want. You can watch my boy Noto's videos, man. Shout out to Noto. You can watch the Underdogs videos, man. Shout out to Underdog, man. I'll fuck with his content, too. You can watch my boy Steph is cold. You can watch all these dudes, right? If you don't apply the knowledge that you received in the real world, man, the field, because the real world is a field, man, then, my nigga, you can't, how the fuck you gonna say you got game or you a player, bro? You're not even in the field. You just, you just soaking up the content and you think you're doing something. Nah, nigga, you gotta be in the field. I got a story for y'all today, man. So, I was working out today, man. I was in arms and shoulders, man, right? And um, this Colombian chick, right? She been peeping a nigga, but ever since, because I had signed him up. Not for the not for the training, but for like the membership. It wasn't said they needed somebody to translate, right? Um, I speak Spanish, man. The people at the front, they speak Spanish. So they called me over, man. This is like a couple months ago, right? So I signed him up and his girl up. And his girl looked like she work out. Colombian chick, nice blonde. She got a nice body. She looked good. And um, every, the whole time we were interacting, I could tell her, but she was giving me the flirty eyes, but she was trying to like, kind of just like hold it back a little bit because dude was right there, right? You know, she peep. You know what I'm saying? You got to peep game. When you when you interact, bro, you got to peep game at the same time. So I was like, all right, let me chill, man. But she was flirting the whole time, man. So anyways, man, I signed him up. And I seen her after that, day after day after day. The homeboy was in the gym, like, I think the next day I signed him up, he was there one time. But after that, I ain't seen him no more. But I kept seeing her, though. She was here. But that nigga wasn't here, right? So, and she kept eyeing the nigga, kept eyeing me. Because she worked. She works out the same time I work out. You understand me? So she peeping me, bro. And today, today, man, I'm doing arms and shoulders, right? And she there the same time I'm there. And um, the pump is crazy. Y'all see me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, the pump, everything was on point. Every time I look in my mirror, the mirror, she right there looking at me. Right? So, mind you, this is a chick that got a boyfriend. But the dude is not in shape. The nigga not in shape. He's skinny as fuck, man. You understand? And um, anyways, man, right? After I finished my workout, she was still there, man. I had, I had to train a client. So I had a, I had a client to train. So tell me why, bro. Tell me why when I'm training my client, every time, bro, I look over, she looking at me. She checking me out. And she got a boyfriend. Like, let's keep it like, let's, let's, yo, let's still, like, she got a boyfriend. And um, the whole time she was out of me, man, when I was working with my client. Her boyfriend came in, right? And um, the nigga just came in as like his work clothes, right? The nigga was his ride. That's her ride, I guess, because you know what I'm saying? Because um, he he came in, right? And uh, he looking around to see where his chick at. And I know because I'm sitting right next to him. I'm, I'm on my computer doing my thing. And I'm seeing him. I was like, yo, what's good, bro? And he looking around the gym like worried. Like, yeah, it's like, like, where the fuck is my bitch at? Like, he keeping tabs on her, right? And um, you, I could tell, I could tell the looking into his eyes, bro, that the nigga was very insecure, bro, that his chick was working out and she looks good. And she in a gym full of other niggas that's getting to it. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell y'all boys something, man. Like, if, if your chick works out, man, and you don't, you got to peep the whole game. What's going on? She's looking good. But she wants to keep you not attractive. She wants to keep you at the point where you're not in shape. Because she don't want to have to compete. And as long as the bro sees her like this. Like puts her on a pedestal. She's going to have the advantage. Bro's not in shape. Now, I'm not saying he can't be confident. He can't be seductive, bro. You could be, you could do, you can have all that without the body game, right? But 
I could see the insecurity, the body language, but he was looking around the gym to see where his chick was at. Same chick that was on me during my workouts. You understand? And um, the nigga was waiting until her workout was done. <laughs> nigga, the fuck that? Yo, like, come on, let's go. The nigga was waiting and everything, waiting for her to finish and all this shit. So what does it tell me? This nigga beta. This nigga's beta. And um, I see a lot of chicks like this. You know, she works out, but you don't work out. You know, guys, like, a dude, a chick should always be steady chasing you, man. It, the more attractive you get, the more in shape you get, she knows she can't fuck up. Especially when you got your money on point, too, man. She knows I can't fuck up with this dude. One time, and that's it for this nigga. That's it. I'm gone. You understand? Is that nigga that I talked about my story getting pussy from me? Yeah, they fucking everything. For sure, they probably fucking. But she sees other dudes that look attractive. More attractive than you. In better shape. Way better shape. But was skinny. And she looking, G. Like, she looking. Like she was looking at me. Maybe she don't cheat on you then and there, right? That shit is bound to happen, bro. It's bound to happen. You tell me she don't get, she don't have thoughts in her head when she see a nigga that's in shape. What she be thinking about? Oh, you look like he can fuck the shit out of me. Oh, you look like he can really give it to me. Like, I live this shit, bro. Like, I'm really out here. You could be that dude if you want, man. Like, me and my niggas was talking today, man. My coworker, man. All the dude that's, that's a trainer. You know niggas is out here getting BBLs? Niggas is getting... They fucking... Um, niggas is getting their body done. Niggas getting a six-pack. Like, what the fuck? The nigga told me about that shit. I didn't even know that was a thing. Niggas is getting their six-pack done. I heard that shit, nigga. I was like, y'all niggas is... Um, it's over It's over with for some of y'all niggas, man. <clears throat> it's over with for some of y'all niggas. You got a choice, man, you know. More attractive you get, bro, the less scarcity you're going to be in. More masculine, the better you feel about yourself, the less scarcity you're going to be in. You want to stand like, let's say she do cheat on you. It is what it is, man. But you can go, you can go find a chick the next day. You look you look in shape, you look good. Nigga, come on. You, you find one chick that's going to choose you. When you when you about your business, man, you going about your day, you going to the grocery store, you going to the to the gym, wherever you're going, you going, you bound to find one chick that's gonna give you a chosen signal. You want to say that you can make the approach. You know, um And you know what's funny, man? Like, if you a weirdo, my nigga, like, if this happens to you guys, man, you're the type of dude, man, that like chicks look at you, man, and they got a boyfriend too that don't work out. Nothing's coincidental, bro. You understand me? Nothing's coincidental, man. Like, if she keep looking your fucking direction, but she wants you to say something, nigga. Like, she wants you to say something. She finds you attractive. You understand? This is something I had to come to, I had to, come to terms with, man. Because for the longest, I used to think that there's something wrong with me. But nah, bro. If a bitch finds you weird, she think you a fucking creep, my nigga. She gonna do everything in her power to get the fuck away from you. So why is it that bitches keep coming around my vicinity? Why do bitches keep looking at me? Oh, she looking at me because she want me to fuck the shit out of her. That's what she want. Like, nigga, like, y'all see the physique, bro. Like, I'm, I ain't like crazy, crazy jacked. But, like, when I'm in the gym, my nigga, ain't too many niggas looking like me, bro. In terms of, like, how lean I am, bro, physique, bro, ain't too many dudes in the gym looking like me. But I eat clean, bro. I don't drink soda. I don't eat snacks. I don't eat cookies, man. I don't eat junk food. Um, I'm very, I'm very strict with my diet, man. I, like I might do a cheat meal once a week, if that. And that's if, like, if I do, I might go to Taco Mac, right? And I might get a, I might get a burger. You understand? That's if I, that's once in a while, bro. I don't even, I don't even eat, eat uh, meat like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I really live this shit, bro. 
and dudes come up to me all the time, like, bro, like, I can see, like, niggas come up to me, like, hey, bro, I can see, like, my nigga, you look good, bro, like, you, I can tell you eat clean. And when dudes tell you that, bro, it's like, you just look healthy. You, you get what I'm saying, bro? Like, this shit ain't easy, though. It's not easy, man. Like, that's why it ain't too many dudes gonna look like me, because who? Let's keep it a buck, bro. This is gonna put y'all boys in a different category of men. Let's say you don't drink. Ben, I already got it. Already got. I'm already ahead of the competition already. Y'all niggas drinking. Oh, so I'm already up in the morning. Y'all niggas still recovering from your hangover from the morning. I'm gone already, nigga. In the morning, I'm already at the gym. Y'all niggas smoke. Whatever, man. Y'all niggas say smoke, it helps y'all, man. Whatever. Um, so y'all niggas gonna be lazy. Y'all niggas ain't on point mentally. When you smoking, if you are, that's you the exception. Hey, bro, kudos to you, my nigga. But um, yeah, them niggas not seeing me, right? Um, <clears throat> I don't eat chips. I don't eat any processed foods. Let's let's let's, let's soak that shit in for a second. I eat whole foods. Nothing with some shit that you can't pronounce. It ain't touching my body. Okay, so I eat clean. Don't smoke. Don't drink. Um, I drink a gallon of water a day. I don't watch porn. I don't jack off. I take herbs. I don't take caffeine like that. I'm taking natural herbs. Herbs for um for stress, ashwagandha, maca root. So who 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 finna see me? Who finna see you? Like, you can't tell me every dude in society doing what I'm doing. But I made the sacrifice. I made a fucking sacrifice, bro. I don't drink soda. I don't eat any sweets. I don't eat ice cream. I might do ice cream day. <laughs> nigga, even when I do ice cream, nigga, I get a vegan ice cream. You understand? I'm not saying it's healthy, but, you know, I try to make it as healthy as I can when I go out, man. You know, but that's... That's it when I go on a date with a chick, man. You, you, you know how much you finna stand out? You know how I know this, bro? Because my energy speaks volumes, my nigga. When I'm in the gym. And sometimes, but in between my sets, I just look around. I don't do this often, but I look around and be like, everybody looking. Okay, so I'm doing something right. I must be doing something right. You know, man, like, people can smell money on you. People can smell, like, a dude that's headed places. Uh, this some real shit, though. This some deep shit, man. Like, people, like, they can feel an energy, man, when you walk into a room and this nigga is, like, you just an alpha, my nigga. Like, you just, niggas, people know you headed places. You headed somewhere. They can feel that shit on you, bro. It's just a certain energy, man, that you exude. And, and I carry that energy, man, uh, energy when I'm in the gym. You understand me? So when a chick is looking, I understand. I understand why she's looking. I, I'm, not, I'm not average. I'm not meant for this average life, my nigga. If y'all boys want a physique, y'all want a cold physique, the nigga tap in with me, nigga. How I get y'all boys right? You get a free consultation with me. We're going to talk about what the fuck we got to do to get you to where you need to be. Y'all boys seen how skinny I was if you go on my IG. You see my transformation. Yeah, I came from nothing. I came from smoking, drinking, drinking soda, eating Doritos. Like, I would drink at least two sodas a day. And I would eat about two or three bags of Doritos. I would get like that value pack. Right? On top of that, nigga. I was eating ice cream, eating junk food, and I was playing 2K all day, nigga. That was my lifestyle. I don't shit on nobody that plays 2K, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm finna cop a system soon, too. I'm gonna get on a 2K. But I'm gonna do that shit when uh, everything else is done. When I know that I ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah, I played the system maybe for an hour. Ain't nothing wrong with that, nigga. Don't let nobody shit on that. You understand? So, 
Y'all need some help, nigga. Tap in with me, nigga. Or if you just want to stay average, nigga, you just want to stay where you at, go ahead, nigga. Nobody's stopping you. But you know you want to be in shape because you know what comes with it. You know the options you get with women. You know the confidence you're going to get. The better you're going to look in clothes, nigga. Bro, this is a Hanes tank top, bro. A wife beater, dog. Hanes, this shit costs like... Nigga, I got a, a three-pack, four-pack for like $20, nigga. Come on, bro. I'm saving money on clothes. Come on, man. You ain't got to... Look at these niggas out here, man. Like, I see niggas dressed up in like... These niggas look like clowns these days, nigga. What the fuck is these niggas wearing, bro? Niggas are wearing oversized pants that cover their shoes. Niggas is wearing some weird shit, brother. Ain't nothing like a man's man, nigga. Ain't nothing like a man's man. You walk out, nigga, you should wear slim fit clothes. You just look like a man. That's what I'm gonna stick to. I don't need to go sell my soul to fashion. Niggas still need soul for fashion. That's exactly what niggas is doing. Niggas is dressing different. And not just different, like... It's it's a difference between, like, I just want to look different or, nigga, you just want attention. Y'all niggas doing it straight for validation. That's what hoes do, nigga. Y'all niggas is bitches now. You can tell niggas is, is, is wearing some ludicrous-ass shit for attention. Nigga, dress like a man, nigga. How is it the fact that I'll go to a club, right? Niggas might be wearing some outlandish ass, outlandish ass shit, right? Nigga got on 20 different colors, nigga. Like four, five, six chains, right? Right? Doing all this shit just to get some attention. Nigga not in shape. But why is a nigga like me when I pull up, nigga? I pull up with a, a Polo Ralph Lauren Slim Fit shirt. A white tee or a black tee with a chain. And I'm getting way more attention than y'all niggas. And I ain't seeking the attention. I'm just dressing like a man. I'm just wearing what I like to wear. And I'm getting more attention. Because y'all niggas could put on these gimmicks, man. You could put on these funds, man, trying to dress like... Man, I don't know what y'all niggas doing, man. To be honest with y'all, do you, bro. You got to let niggas be happy, man. But I can't rock with that shit. But nigga, are you serious? I get more looks. Come on, man. And I ain't spending money like they don't close. I mean, once I get the money, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna spend more money. But I'm gonna stick to what's simple. But fashion, don't get wrong though, nigga. I got drip now. And we still fresh, but I keep it simple. I might go with some Jordan 12s, Jordan 6s, some nice jeans, right? And I might do like a slim fit polo, or I might do a white tee, or I might do a tee with a, with a, with a denim jacket with a chain. Right? Or I might do, if I'm stepping out, nigga, I might do Chelsea boots with some slim fit jeans. Might go a dress shirt. Everything hugging my physique. And I just look like a man. I'm not putting on a facade. I don't need to look like nobody. You understand? I know I went in for a second, man. But look, man. Guys, man, like, if you're trying to get in shape, but yo, know, tap the link in the description, man. Book a consultation with me, man. It's free, 30 minutes. If you ain't trying to do that, I don't know why you wouldn't. Cut my fitness program, man. It's $12, nigga. $12. You gonna, niggas, some of y'all niggas gonna spend it when you go out to eat on one day. How about better yourself, nigga, and cut my program? If you give a fuck. If you don't, then cool. You understand? Man, so look, man. That's it for this video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Comment down below what y'all boys wanna see next. So the next one, man, I'm out of here, man.